So I decided to take a second look at uh, my old uh, Servoscope project um, and uh, build it uh, uh, based on a slightly different set of uh, hardware. Um, this is the uh, uh, the actual animation over here, uh, same basically uh, from two years ago. Um, inside here is the uh, uh, in the center uh, is the uh, brushless DC motor that came from. Uh, uh, th this is the old. Uh, Xbox uh, 360 um, DVD drive. This is the Arduino uh, uh, Due Melanove. Uh, that's what I got. And here is a different uh, driver. This time it's built on three pairs of uh, complementary PNP and NPN uh, transistors that uh, create an H bridge for each of the three windings. Um, there's a little bit more to the circuit here. This is the transistor that drives the uh, uh, the one watt uh, LED, which makes a flash, and uh, this is the RPM control. Uh, I just wanted to run it through uh, you know, several different RPM settings to show you guys how it responds. Um, and uh, you, you can't see it here, but uh, it's uh, uh, powered with a separate uh, power supply uh, running at 3.3 uh, uh, volts and uh, the uh, uh, motor circuit is uh, drawing about 370 milliamps it it is roughly the uh, the max for the transistors i'm using so um, i'm good with that okay uh, anyway uh, this is um, like the optimal um, rpm for the animation but I, I can go slightly lower than that You can see that the rotation becomes a little bit uneven. Um, basically, the, uh, uh, the there are 36 different steps around the 360 degree rotations, and uh, what happens is the uh, rotor uh, of the BLDC motor here is trying to race into the next step, and uh, I had to weight it down with uh, two CDs. I don't know if you can see, but there are two CDs here. Uh, just uh, just so that the uh, uh, the rotating mass becomes uh, larger and uh, the motor doesn't uh, rotate doesn't race to the next step as quickly as it uh, as it might. Anyway, it, it looks like it's uh, working kind of all the way down to I don't know what we say. It's about uh, 20, 30 RPMs, uh, but I can. Um, I can slow it even uh, more than that. Uh, there's obviously not much of a stroboscope effect, uh, uh, but uh, you can see that you know the the the, the motor is still running, still turning. Anyway, uh, well, this is uh, perhaps the slowest it can get, and this is what happens on the very low RPMs. Yeah, it needs that uh, little bit of inertia of the disc to to start rotating. Otherwise, uh, it just goes back and forth like this. So I need to make it a little a uh, little faster. So go a little faster. Oh, that's too fast. Anyway, it looks like it can uh, work within the range of uh, anywhere between uh, 20 RPMs and uh, this is, uh, uh, I would say, roughly 300 or so. Uh, could go faster than that, but uh, the, uh, the disc with animation will just speed itself, uh, you know, spin itself uh, off of the spindle, so I don't want to do that. Anyway, this is it. Uh, That's how it was uh, intended to run. And there you have it.